Hi, I'm Maggie from maggiescrochet.com and in this video I'm going to explain a little bit about the turning chain. The turning chain is a crochet step to keep your work even on the sides of the rows. Since crochet stitches vary in height, your turning chain will be different multiples of chains. So making one to four chains, for example, before turning the row accommodates the height of the stitch used in the next row. So at the end of the row, you'll make one chain for a single crochet, and I'll show you how that is. So here I've got a little sample of double crochets. So let's say my next row I want to do single crochets. So I would chain one and turn like this, and for the single crochet you start working in the first stitch like this. So then I would work my single crochets or whatever the pattern um, dictates. So let me go back here and let's say this row I want to do half double crochets or some other the pattern just says chain two turn. So I would just there's my chain one and I would chain two and then I would turn. So typically I'm not going to work in this stitch because my chain two now is going to count as my first half double crochet. So I would leave that there and then start in the next uh, double crochet next stitch and work my half double crochets across. But that turning chain enabled me to have the height to work across the row like that. So now if you wanted to do another row of double crochets here, typically the double crochet height is a chain three. So you the turning chain is a chain three. So you wait till you get to down to the end of the row and you chain three and then you turn and you don't work in the first stitch here and you work in the next stitch like this. Like that, see there? And then I'm going to show you a little trick that I do. Sometimes I do the, I, uh, every time I do the chain one and I single crochet in the first stitch. But a lot of times I chain one and I go ahead and I work a half double crochet in the first um, stitch. I don't skip it because it's more like a real stitch there and it's more solid on the end. It doesn't give you that little gaping space. So sometimes I do that and even with a double crochet I will get to the end here and I'll make a really loose chain, one chain, and I will turn and I will raise this up and work a double crochet in the first stitch. So I don't have, it's a little bit thicker than a, than a regular double crochet, but it makes a nicer finish on the side of the row. So I just thought I'd teach you that little trick. Now back to the chains, um, let's say you were doing a trip treble or a triple they call it. I was trying to combine both. Then typically they assume that you know that you skip this one and you would yarn over twice and then see when you do a triple crochet that chain is the same height as your triple crochet. So like that. So that is how you do the turning chain. So I hope that this helps you to master the art of crochet and find more enjoyment in it. And I want to thank you very much for watching and I hope that you subscribe to our channel. And when you do subscribe you'll be notified as soon as we have new videos which are coming out at least twice a week right now. So thank you so much for watching.